Hello my friends, welcome to Bunny Tales. Today we're going to make a 10 frame. This is a great activity to help kids count and they can work on their number object correlation. We start out by cutting some little rectangles. Then we're going to write the numbers on each rectangle. After that, we can use a marker and outline each number. Now we can color in the numbers with different colors. Now that all the numbers are colored in, I'm going to use a white marker to make some tracing dots. This will make it easier for the child to trace the numbers. Now we need two bigger pieces of cardboard. They must be the same size. On one of them, we are going to draw a rectangle that's a little bit bigger than the rectangles we did the numbers on. Then we're going to draw a 10 frame grid. Make sure that when you draw the 10 frame grid, that you give it a thick border because we are going to cut out the squares in the middle and we need to have a thick border to hold it together. I'm going to use a cutter to cut out the rectangle and on the top of the rectangle I'm going to cut out a little half circle that will give the child the ability to put the cards in and take them out easily. After we cut out all the squares in the 10 frame, we're going to get a piece of paper that will fit underneath the cut out squares and put it on the bottom cardboard. Then we're going to use a glue gun to connect the top piece that we cut out and the bottom piece together. Now that this part is done, we are going to work on covering the numbers. We're going to take each of the cardboards that we wrote the numbers on and cover it with a piece of wide tape. Now that we're done making this learning resource, it's time for your child to learn and have fun. We're going to mix the cards up and then we're going to place them next to our 10 frame. Then we're going to get some pom poms and a dry erase marker. Then we're going to pick a card, place it in the rectangle and then match that number with pom poms on the 10 frame. After matching the number with pom poms, your little one can use the marker to practice writing the number 7. Then you can erase it so you can practice again. 
they can remove the card and remove the pom-poms and then do the next number over here i've got the number two i'm going to match it with two pom-poms and then practice tracing the number two i hope your little one enjoys this activity Please subscribe to the channel so I can make more fun videos. Thank you.